Hey boys and girls, welcome back. Um, today we're gonna practice some math fact flashcards. Um, you can also practice your math facts on Moby Max, um, but if you're not logged into Clever yet, um, you won't be able to do that. So for now, I figured I would upload a video of some flashcards with some subtraction facts. Um, once you're able to get into Clever, or if you're already in Clever, go ahead and click on the math. Um, math facts icon it'll be green and that will give you a lot of these addition and subtraction facts the other day i uploaded a video with addition facts today we are doing subtraction facts so a lot of you guys are using your fingers to do adding and subtracting fingers are a great tool um, but during this time i'd like us to practice getting a little quicker with doing the math in our head and just memorizing these facts off the top of our head rather than having to use our fingers all the time. So take this time to watch this video maybe once a day, twice a day if you feel like it, um, to build these skills so that you're not having to rely on your fingers all the time um, because these, these math facts are um, pretty important and they'll carry with you throughout your whole life. So it's important that you get these down um, at this age and then it'll make math easier as you get older. So let's practice these subtraction facts. You can also continue practicing on Moby Max um, and I'll check on Moby Max to see who's doing the work. So I'm, I'm looking forward to see how many of you are practicing. So I will hold up a card. I'll read it out loud and I'll pause for a few seconds, give you some time at home to say the answer out loud, and then I'll give you the answer if you are stuck. So it's great if you have somebody at home listening to you. Maybe you have a little brother or sister that's watching, older brother or sister that's checking your work. Um, if there are any math facts that you continue to have a hard time with, write them down, make your own flashcards at home. You can do that with index cards or pieces of paper. Um, all you have to do is pause and write them down. So it's great to keep track at home. Alrighty, so here we go with our subtraction facts. Here's our first one. Two, take away zero. Two. <laughs> one, take away zero. One. Eight, take away two. Six. Five, take away one. Four. Five, take away zero. Five. Two, take away one. One. Let's make it a little tougher here. Nine, take away four. Five. I'm gonna flip them over and get the harder ones for you guys. Ten, take away ten. Zero. Five, take away four. One. Ten, take away four. Use your fingers on this one if you hold up ten fingers. And you take away four. Tens are easy one because you can just use both your hands. Ten take away four is six. Eight take away four. Four. Ten take away eight. Two. Nine take away five. Four. 10, take away five. Five. 10, take away seven. Three. Eight, take away seven. One. Seven, take away seven. Zero. 10, take away six. Four, nine, take away six. Three, seven, take away six. 
one. Eight, take away six. Two. Six, take away six. Zero. Nine, take away seven. Two. Ten, take away nine. One. Nine, take away eight. One. <laughs> seven, take away five. Two. Nine, take away three. Six. Seven, take away four. Three. Almost done. Six, take away four. Two. Ten, take away three. Seven. Six, take away five. One. I have a couple tricky ones, a little bigger. Let's see if we can do these. Twelve, take away four. It's going to be eight. Eleven, take away three. It's also eight. And last one. Twelve, take away six. It's a tricky one, but there's a trick. Twelve, take away six is six. Alrighty, so that's it for our subtraction flashcards. Feel free to watch this video more than once to get these facts down. If there are a couple of facts that are still a struggle for you, please write them down, practice at home, and then when you do this, like, this video again tomorrow or another day, you'll have them right. Um, so good luck. I want to hear all about your practice at home. So I will post this on Google Classroom. You can write comments. If you're making flashcards at home, let us know what you're using. And um, good luck. Keep me posted. Have a good day.